King Carlos here, man. Smoking a little weed and shit. I want to speak on something, bro. Um, all these. What? Look at this video. Like, watch. I want y'all look at this. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this is big. This is the artist. Now, these are all just. Yes, man. This is what. This is what the video is about, bro. If these niggas aren't sound guys, producers, if these niggas ain't marketer marketing, um, you know. Whether it be digital online marketing, uh, if these niggas ain't running on Instagram, constantly posting shit, constantly trying to promote shit, constantly trying to get other artists to tag you and stuff, um, they need to get jobs, man. These niggas need to be at a job somewhere, living their own life. This is a like a big reason a lot of rap niggas are dead is the niggas. My fault, guys. I'm sorry. A big reason a lot of these rappers are dead are the niggas they got around them, bro. The niggas they have around them. I mean, you got all these niggas not doing anything, waiting on you to get paid so you can pass them out money. Because that's what it's about, right? Because these niggas ain't around you all day to watch you shop, watch you fuck hoes while they sit around and wear 1017 shirts. They want to they wanna shop and get fly like you. This is the problem, man. You can't save the hood. As a grown man, you can't take care of other grown men, bro. And to be honest with you, it's, it brings envy and jealousy. Even if these niggas are welcoming you in the, in the beginning, once they get older and get around women and shit like that and get around and and, and re, i say women yeah get around women and shit like that and they because women gonna tell them the truth y'all ain't nothing but some groupies that's the artist nigga you don't do shit but ride his nuts you ain't nothing but a dude for him so envy and jealousy will arise in these niggas because they're not their own men they're your they they your they're your man they do what the fuck you want them to do you got money you pay them you control their lifestyle if they niggas get a girlfriend you're paying you, you know what i'm saying you paying for they hotel you paying for that bitch to go shopping and stuff that nigga ain't got no fucking money that's why i be said that's why i really really shout out jack boy man he did his own thing and he got his own career going bro he not just around he not around court anymore he got his own money and shit he doing his own thing if these niggas plan on rapping and shit like that and maybe after a year or a couple months a nigga start you start putting a nigga on your instagram putting a nigga on your youtube page but these rap niggas don't ever do that and it's not these rap niggas fault these niggas around them never do that they just want to louch and low they just want to <laughs> leech try to get around celebrities take pictures get around whole instagram hoes take pictures try to talk to them just just eat off your fame man eat off your like i don't get uh, and and as, as rappers my nigga as artists y'all niggas got to start get, shaking these niggas off man if these niggas ain't doing nothing they don't need to be there nigga you need to be on a job and it ain't about uh dude can't be a rapper nigga if he want to rap he needs to be doing that he bottom line these niggas need to be living their own lives man you shouldn't be, a, as a man, have all these other niggas around you. It's okay to have friends and shit sometime, bro. But you don't need to be rolling. If these niggas ain't making no money like that, if these niggas ain't working with you, working for you, they need to be gone somewhere. Now, a lot of niggas got niggas that work for them. They got managers and shit like that. Like, nigga, like, nigga be having, like, the same dude with him, but that nigga be, like, his, the promote, that nigga be, like, promo. He didn't got that, maybe, um, dude that when they got a security license or a license to carry, so he the security guard. Um, nigga might be his manager. Uh, he might be his hype man for the like when they do live shows. Something like niggas doing something, bro. He ain't just sitting there with his hand out and his mouth open. He actually feeding himself. He just so happen to be around, but he do his own work. He contribute. He has a part that he plays that helps make you money. That helps. The, you know what I'm saying? The whole like that helps the collective, my nigga. Other than that, these niggas not to get the fuck on, bro. Y'all gotta stop bringing having all these yes men. Broke ass niggas around waiting to get fed, waiting to shop and shit, bro. And it's just real. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man.